Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock windup. Of course, we are three weeks and a day out from Rockfest 2014, so make sure that you get your tickets now over at 989therock.com. Also, uh, go straight to the Midland Box Office, save you a couple few dollars on those inconvenience fees. And we'll jump right into it with the Nikki Six Soli Erna Smackdown still going on. It seems that this week, uh, so, uh, uh, or I guess the Godsmack camp had reached out to Nikki Six because he has a, a radio podcast, I mean a radio show, and uh, he basically had said, or Nikki had said that Godsmack wanted to come on to promote the new album. Nikki not forgetting that crying like a bitch was about him and subsequently uh, stated that uh, there were a few festivals that <laughs> Motley Crue was supposed to headline or was headlining and said if God smacks on the bill we're not playing which I think really just kind of proves Soli's song right in that you are kind of crying like a bitch because this ain't the 80s bro and you're holding on by a thread man and speaking of the crew, it was announced this week that Tommy Lee tapped to be the drummer for New Smashing Pumpkins that are supposed to come out next year. Uh, a lot of people kind of surprised by this. Uh, hopefully it will work out good and maybe get a little more of that uh, raw energy into Smashing Pumpkins so it's not just, you know, kind of emo soft music. So we'll see how it, see how it all plays out. Well, it seems the metal band Miss May I were performing up in New York City at Webster Hall and a patron attempted to crowd surf or crowd uh, stage dive or something like that and subsequently died. Uh, according to Brooklyn Vegan, he did not die at the concert. He collapsed outside of the venue. But again, it's just one of those situations where, you know, you feel bad for the family and you feel bad for the kid, but you kind of take that risk when you're going to crowd surf and subsequently stage dive, you know? Well, the second time for, uh, in, in what, three years, I guess, Nick Augusto, uh, the, the drummer out of Trivium, uh, was announced this week in a pretty lengthy uh, posting uh, by Paolo on Trivium's page uh, that uh, they parted ways. N nothing but good things to say about Nick, and I do recall I interviewed those guys a couple years ago at Rockfest, and it seemed like all systems were go. So I guess if you got drumming skills, send in your resume to uh, at Trivium.com. I'll close out your weekly rock wind up with a lawsuit from Glenn Danzig uh, levied uh, against Jerry only uh, from Misfits uh, in regards to basically just trying to get some royalties off of him. Uh, it's a bum deal because I know, uh, as I mentioned in a, a previous weekly rock wind up, Doyle von Frankenstein was attempting to bring all remaining members and all members, original members of Misfits back together for a tour. I think when a lawsuit happens, that's not going to happen. And a uh, big announcement this week, it's official manslaughter from Body Count will be coming out in June. Uh, it's been talked about and rumored for a while, but it is going to officially happen. So uh, hey, asshole Bob, let's look at maybe getting those guys on a bill soon, you know what I'm saying? It's body Count! I'm Niven, thank you very much for tuning in to your Weekly Rock Windup. Uh, have fun if you're going out to the races this weekend, enjoy it, uh, weather-wise should be pretty good. And don't forget, Sunday is Mother's Day. Your father was a